Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another plan with me video. Um, so this is the second week of March. Um, I have just gone ahead and put like the date and day headers on and also um, done my timed daily and also just used uh, this Tombow brush pen number 97 and sorry N97 N75 <laughs> um, to mark our homeschool hours and um, I did change like last week if you saw in my plan with me I did leave like two pages for Saturday and also Sunday but I realised I don't need two pages at the weekend so I've just done it like that and it actually works out really well because I do like to see my weekend um, on a double spread just because the tasks that I need to do are not really day specific and so it's almost like I can make a list but um, it can get done on Sunday or you know if there's something that I've put on Sunday but I've got time on Saturday I can do it then so it's more like a weekend spread um, there might be some things that are sometimes you know more specific to the day which is why I do keep them separate um like if I've got a video going live or if um I I don't know have some kind of deadline or something then I do like to you know that's why I keep them separate but otherwise they're pretty fluid to the tasks that I need to get done so I will just start by marking our homeschool hours and I'm going to use these little tinta with a pen from create with pen on there and this week I'm using um a uniball signo dx in 0 0.38 um I've been using this pen like on and off for about a month maybe a little bit longer um I'm pretty sure I've seen it on maybe Monique's um from arisen you i'm not sure but i do generally see like a lot of pens that she uses that i really like and then i go and purchase them so possibly her um but it's just so so crisp and very beautiful to write with so my favorite pen i've said lots of times is definitely the um uniball jet stream in the three zero point three eight but this pen is just um it's a gel pen and it's a bit more bold but also sometimes the other pen this pen the jet stream on the stalogy like if i've put hand cream on and it's rubbed against the paper over here when i come to write on that part with the jet stream it kind of doesn't really write properly whereas this pen i've had no skipping issues like that so just gonna use that this week um and then friday i am gonna mark like oops slightly um differently because it is like our devotional day where we kind of do different activities to school then the very first thing i'm going to do is mark my husband's shifts in before i do anything else so he is working Wednesday daytime, Thursday daytime, and then Friday night and Saturday night. So, oops, why did I write F? <laughs> um, so, because he, like, usually Saturdays are my day off, um, and he's in between nights, which means he gets home about 10, half 10 in the morning, and then he has to leave by 7 in the evening on Saturday for his next night shift. Um, I do still end up getting my day off because he will make sure the kids are fed and showered and in bed before, like, well, in their room before he leaves for, oh God. <laughs> I'm supposed to put an N there. Um, yeah, I need another cup of chai, guys. Yeah, he will take care of them before he leaves. Um, so I can just go ahead and mark my day off right now because it's just in the same uh, sticker book. So this sticker book is from Muji. It's a photo album. I'm not sure if they are available everywhere. Um, but yeah, that is where mine is from. So I will just mark it 
with this again from create with pen and i might put a little sticker there later so um let's go so sometimes i will just do like the day i'll go per day um but what i generally do is i look at my monthly and i put all these tasks in first so i will fill out the week with appointments um important things basically that are on my monthly calendar and then i will work through my day um in terms of tasks um to do's things like that so for monday i do have a tesco delivery again between one and two so i will just mark that first I will use one of these from Once More With Love and I don't actually have many left of those so I'll have to see if I'm going to place another order. And luckily this time it is a home delivery so I don't have to leave the house to go and pick it up. Tesco delivery. And I am doing a like... Um, I think I mentioned already, but I'm doing another like a uh, day per two page just because last week it just worked out really, really well for me. Um, I just loved having the space for like stickers, but then just a massive long list on this side. Um, so, yeah. And then here's the weekend, which, um, yeah, you can see there will probably be some things that I need to get done tomorrow. Um but okay so uh then on tuesday is our fasting day so i want to mark that and i do have these little stickers if i can find them now from mandy plans that i don't really know they're really cute they're like these little foiled clouds that i don't really know where else i could use them and now i can't find them Okay, here it is here. So I have got these and I just, um, I really, really love them. Um, so her shop was called Mandy Dreams. I don't know if it is um, still open at the moment. I don't believe it is, but um, I have these. So I will just use one of them. Just a little note there to remind myself that it is our frosting day. I'll just put it there, Ikadishi. And that just affects like our meal plans. Um, and then Wednesday, their piano lessons start again, which I am so happy about. <laughs> um, Although my little one has decided that she doesn't want to continue with piano lessons anymore. And I'm kind of a bit torn about it because on one hand, I definitely feel like it's such a useful skill to have. Um, and I don't know, I think because I was never really like Indian parents don't really value like extracurricular things especially music and sports so much um so it's always like very academically focused um so i was never like i never learned any musical instruments never learned really any sport um so that's something that i feel like it's more my my desire than hers so i i just don't want her to spend like years learning piano and she ends up hating it so I'm kind of a bit torn because i do feel like Maybe she should just kind of push through this and then she'll, you know, learn to love it. But um, anyway, I will speak to her teacher, who is my one of my close friends as well, and see what she says. Um, she's quite level headed and she'll probably say to me that, look, if she is not in the mood, like if she doesn't, you know, not enjoying it and doesn't want to learn it, then probably it's better to just um, give it a break for now so let's see how about what what we decide and then on thursday my eldest daughter she has braces at the moment but obviously during covid like just before covid 
they called her in and asked like basically they've neutralized her braces but she's broken a little one at the back a little piece um so we have to just go in just to fix that but i don't know when her treatments are going to um continue basically and then it's like because on monday we are kind of coming out of lockdown in terms of like schools are allowed to um start again that means we can also continue with some of our homeschool activities like at least outdoors um because we have the same kind of freedoms and rules like apply to us as schools do so once schools are allowed to um can be open then we can kind of continue some of our outdoor activities so we will meet up with some friends uh socially distanced of course um at the woods but that will be really really good because my kids are just so excited to see their friends just like i'm sure everybody is um and then sunday is actually our mother's day here so I know you guys, like, I think in the US and maybe even Australia, you guys have slightly different dates to us. Um, so let me see. I think I have, I could put a bow, maybe a bow or a heart. Let's go for a bow. So I'm not quite sure, because we normally all celebrate, like, um me and this, my siblings and my kids my husband like we all normally celebrate together so we kind of get together and do something for my mom and then also kind of for me as well um because i'm the only one out of my siblings who has children but this year who knows so let's see um mother's day And then there's like a couple of other like deadlines and tasks that I need to put in, um, which I will do in a second. So I just will go through it day by day. Um, I think I will probably switch over to a voiceover because I will definitely make spelling mistakes if I'm trying to write and speak at the same time. Um, I will kind of talk a little bit about like what I'm writing down and our plans um, and I will also go through a couple of questions that I received as well. So one of the questions I received was about um, my granddad passing away and how like my kids were and whether they were like coping with it. Um, so thank you very much for asking, that's very kind of you. Um, yes, they're okay. Um, obviously, they miss him because we did see him. Like, that's their great grandfather. And we, like, he, all my family live on the same street. So, like, my parents, and then, like, five doors down, my aunt lives with her family. And then, like, another five or six doors down the road, my grandparents and my uncle and his family, they all live together. Um, and then we've got another aunt also who's literally just around the corner as well. So that's kind of how we grew up, like all of us just on the same street as each other. So whenever we go down to see my mum, we will like pop into everybody's houses and say, let, say hello to everyone. Um, and my granddad would always like, you know, make his rounds and come see everybody um, a couple of times in the day. So they are, you know, they were very close to him and saw him very regularly the little one especially like was very um she just really like attached to him but they're fine because we um like we are Hare Krishnas and part of our faith is um like our belief is you know we believe in reincarnation so that um and and also that you know we're not like we we're not the body we are a soul so there's a spirit soul within us and that when we die our soul just takes um birth in another body so because they kind of have grown up learning that and understanding that they do realize that you know he's it's okay he's just left this body and taken up a new one um just like there's kind of changes in the body from you know we had a body of a baby and then we had a body of like a teenager and then an adult an old person so this is just another change um 
so yeah they're they're kind of they are very philosophical and they do understand like our philosophy quite deeply we do like you know lots of um discussions <laughs> around that every morning um but yeah they're okay I did kind of check in with them because I was worried that they yeah might be kind of missing him and all that which they were and obviously they are sad and that they're not going to see him again but in terms of like death we talk about death quite um openly in our family and um especially in the context of our faith it's just not a big deal it's not something to be scared of um it's just another change that happens so yeah thank you for that um, the other question I had was about my work and how much longer do I think I will continue working in child protection. Um, at the moment I don't see myself leaving it for the foreseeable future and actually I was thinking, like, I've been thinking about this for several years now but um, just more and more recently that when my children kind of grow up and no longer need me to homeschool them, whether they're like travelling or working or at university, um, like, I definitely would like to work in some capacity with London Metropolitan Police in child protection, um, or possibly even with, um, Interpol, um, yeah, I think definitely there are, there's, like, so many different opportunities in child protection that I think, you know, I will, I've already been in this, like, um, like in this work for 10 years now and by the time my kids like are grown up it will be probably another 10 years um so yeah with 20 years of experience I'm hoping that I will definitely be able to work with the police or Interpol um yeah my interest is definitely working more with like on the offender side so like you know um profiling um working to catch <laughs> I guess um child abusers so I think the police would be a perfect fit for me um but I don't know who knows like how much child protection will change in the next 10 years it's definitely changed a lot since I started doing it um so I would just see like what my career options are at the time and probably do a little bit of full-time work in that field um at some point that's like my plan anyway So I'm pretty much done. Um, the very last thing that I do once I have like set up my week is to just go back through like the previous week and see what didn't get done and needs to be moved forward. So I still haven't managed to book my cervical screening, which I keep getting text message reminders about actually. So I'm gonna make sure uh, cervical screening, make sure I get that done on Monday. Um, I'm not going to check that off from here just yet. Uh, I need to buy a camera battery, which is not urgent. All this stuff is processed. Um, this is fine. My husband's doing that today. There's two things. I will take them off. Um, oh, yeah. So I have like this memory box and I have some things I need to put in it. So I will do that next week I didn't get that done this week and I also didn't get any of these things done which is all like one task but kind of broken down into three so I need to go through all my like kids old clothes and um, I'm thinking Tuesday will be a good day for that so if I don't go for a walk with my friend um, but yeah, I just need to pass them on to my other friend who has a daughter and will probably be able to use them. And then I also need to do a very important work thing that I haven't managed to do yet. To complaints file. Um... Tesco shop, yep, I got that done. And then the weekend I will just process once I've, like at the end of the weekend basically. 
Um, I don't think there's anything from the week before that. No, there can't be because we're only in the second week of March. Um, but yeah, that is it. That is how my week turned out. I will probably add like to do headers at the top. I just don't have any at the moment. Um, the ones I have are like all coloured. So I will do that. And I think I might use these green dots that I have. So my idea for using these was to put like, well, it doesn't have to be green, but anyway, a dot here and then layer like a to-do header over that. So if I leave that there, that's going to remind me to use them. Um, and yeah, that is it. That is as much as I can think of for this week. So thank you so much for joining me, guys. And if you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. Um, otherwise, if you like this video, please hit the like button and I will see you next time. Bye.